3 o'clock on Sunday. Just ate a delicious turkey sandwich. We're going to go check out the Colorado Trail. We're going to scope it out. We uh, are prepared. I got my jeans on. She's got her chucks. Let's go hit this trailhead up. See what this place is all about. In New Mexico, Shay was worried about the, the rattlesnakes. In Colorado, she's got the bears. <laughs> I can outrun a bear. <laughs> you, you think you can outrun a bear? Hell yeah. <laughs> Just like we tried to outrun those emus. I'll, th <laughs> I'll throw my candy at it. This trail is amazing. We've only just started, I think. Oh, do you have your timer thing to tell us how far we've gone? We'll have to do that tomorrow. We've already met bicyclers. We've gone about half a mile. We've met runners. Dude, these mountain bikers, no Fs given. Just hauling ass. It's awesome. We're going to do that. Downhill, and there were big rocks, and they were. Mm -mm. That's going to be us. No, it's not. You can do that by yourself. There's a nice creek running down there. But we're getting it. The elevation starts at, I think, right at just like 6,900 feet, and then it goes up from there pretty good. And we just wanted to kind of get our feet wet, check out the trail, see what it was all about today. We That's what we're do doing. We don't want to do too much today because then. Yeah, absolutely. Back at the campsite, we are doing our layout for tomorrow for the trail. Basic things, we're trying not to take too much, but just enough food, headlamps, clothes, moleskin, stuff like that water filters, toilet paper, clothes, just just enough tent, just enough to get us through one night on the trail and then back. It shouldn't be too bad. It's a, We're hoping to go 11 miles out and 11 miles back. So that's our goal. If it gets too crazy, there's a campsite at six mile marker. So we'll see how that all works out, but that's kind of our layout for now. Look at this gray blue squirrel. It's freaking sick. If I was a squirrel, I'd want to be a good looking squirrel like that one. So sick. <laughs> we have the basics of this trip ready to go. We knew we were only going to do one night on the trail, which was the... Was it funny? You! We knew we were only going to do one night on the trail. Do a spin. Do a spin for us. Hold on, we didn't want to get like just a bunch of expensive gear. We had some gear ready to go. Um, I have this Alice pack that I enjoy. The only thing I don't like about our equipment is the huge ass cold weather military sleeping bag that we have. It's heavy, it's awkward. It works great, but it just, it's awkward. So here's what we got going on. I have it all packed up and I got it as high as possible. And that's the way it's supposed to be. But the sleeping bag is just, it's ridiculous for what it is. I know it looks silly, but you know, it's just how it works. I'm feeling good about it. So, is it going to suck? Absolutely. This thing probably weighs, I'm probably around, it's not much, it's only like 30 pounds, if you think about it. You know, which isn't very heavy, but I'm not going the camera is jumping around because she is laughing so hard right now. I don't know what she's laughing at. Can you see me, head to toe? Yeah, see? So it's not crazy. Like, does it look crazy? Does it look stupid? You almost look like an ant. Like with a big butt. <laughs> Like a Kim Kardashian with a big fake butt. Like I said, if there was one thing I could replace, um, I'd probably get a lighter pack. Obviously these Alice packs aren't super light, but they work. Um, but i definitely get a lighter sleeping bag. The sleeping bag is going to be killer. Shay, any thoughts on this? Do you want to turn around and uh, let people know? I, I got no thoughts. Alright, here's Shay's pack. Nothing crazy. Obviously, like I said, we didn't go out buy expensive hiking backpacks because this is a one day trip. I'm not going to go spend $300 on one day. So she's got this Eddie Bauer backpack that we use on small hiking excursion, just a normal backpack. And she's going to be hiking with that. She's got her um, basically with small essentials and everything in there. Honestly, if we weren't going camping, that's what's kind of killing it with the sleeping bag and the tent. We'd just have a backpack and we'd just go with that. One backpack would be fine. We could just pass it back and forth. 
but we also have water for two days and water filters and stuff. So turn around. All of our food's MRE too. Feeling good? Feeling good. Are, are you Kim yeah. Kardashian wannabe? Starting to rain a little bit, so we're just trying to stay dry, which is really cool. I'm, a, I'm very happy with this hatch. I wasn't sure how I felt about it going up versus folding out like the JK, but in this application, it is awesome because we're chilling back here in our makeshift bed where we're going to be kicking it. Drinking hippie juice? And I was getting to that. And so we're just hanging out, and uh, it's real nice because this keeps everything dry and everything is set up perfectly, so we're real happy. Also, Shay has made, go ahead and tell us about this. It's watermelon vodka, triple sec, coconut rum, and pink lemonade powder mix, and then water. It's good. Yeah, we're supposed to be hiking tomorrow. David said that it'll put some hair on your chest. <laughs> well, that's not going to happen with me. You could probably light it on fire. Absolutely. We could use that as... Fire starter. Yes, yeah, that's, yeah, so... But it's good. It's really good. It leaves a good taste in your mouth. It burns. That vodka kind of burns a little bit, but then it goes away. It's good. We're going to make some hot dogs later. Chill out with this. Crash in the back of this. And we will see you guys in the morning, which will be Monday morning, when we're going to figure out what to do with our, our trail. So, going from there. Good morning. It's Monday morning. We just got through our first night sleeping in the back of the rig. Um, overall, everything went really well. It was a bit chilly. And, or towards the morning, which we kind of figured would happen. We just didn't have enough out. Tonight will be a lot warmer because we're using the sleeping bag and stuff. We've also, I've also made the call that we're not going to camp out on the Colorado Trail. A, because I don't have, I mean, just flat out, I don't have the right equipment for us to hike out as far as I'd like to. And it's just going to be, it would be miserable because we'll, we'll have to be carrying loads that aren't set up correctly, camp out there with stuff that we're not really set up for, and then carry all the load back on an elevation we're not ready for. So, as much as I'd like to just stick it out and rough it, um, I feel like it'd just be a bad call to do. So we're gonna go hike the trail, basically go check it out, go to where the campsites are that I wanted to actually do. We'll film, we'll check it out. Really super pumped about that. And that way we'll make a good call and we'll know what we're getting into next time. That way we're not just trying to jump into it and, um, and just make a big mistake and just make the trip suck. I want it to be fun, I want to have a good time. So this is the best call I think. So right now, we're gonna go ahead and get ready make some waffles that she's already pre-made, and um, have a good breakfast and get out on the trail. So it's only about, it's about seven o'clock. I think we woke up at six. It's great because with no, with no clocks and no phones, it's like go to bed with the sun and wake up with the sun. It's awesome, I love it. So here's a quick one to run down on our setup. So this is where we slept, obviously. This back portion, we're gonna fold that up and put the Yeti in this Tupperware container back in there during the day and that way it kind of keeps everything inside there. It's kind of a little messy because we're getting things situated right now. For the day, we kept these out last night. Worked out perfectly, we kept the Yeti and that container on top of it and then our chairs on each side of it. There's no one really to either side of us as you can see. Shay's on the grill cooking waffles. That's kind of our setup. This container has all of our just general supplies that we can need just daily in and outs. And then, obviously, this is all our food supply. That's what ice looks like after we filled it up. Let me see. Friday night. So, Saturday, Sunday. So, two days worth of ice. Still going strong in there. And using up our stuff. So, it's still cold in there, very much so. Plus, it's cold overnight, so that helps too. Those are packs that we're going to use. We're just going to consolidate it and make it into one pack for today. Camp Chef Grill going strong, cooking up those waffles. So tell us about a little bit about your meals, meal setups that you have. Okay, <clears throat> so I tried to get um, a lot of food that could be... Good morning, by the way. Good morning. I tried to get a lot of food that was versatile and I could use for different kinds of meals. So we got hot dogs, we got tortillas, pepperonis, cheese, um, I made some foil packs where it has some sausage, pre-boiled potatoes, and green beans, and then you just stick those in the fire, and you heat it up, and it's like a, it's like a meal. Um, we also have lunch meat and bread, so we can have grilled cheese, grilled turkey cheese, we can have quesadillas, hot dogs, hot dog quesadillas, we can do a lot with what we have. I pre-made waffles, 
and I made some pancake batter so we can make pancakes and waffles for breakfast. That's our setup. We're gonna go hit the Colorado Trail today. See you guys in a bit. Monday morning, we're right at the beginning of the trail. Like I said, we're not gonna sleep on the trail tonight, but we're gonna go as far into it as possible and then come back and then uh, just hang out. But just a trail day, kind of get us associated with the trail, set up and super pumped and excited to come back and do even more portions. Cause we're coming back and we're gonna do day long trips and we're gonna sleep on this trail. Today's gonna get us really excited for it. So anything you wanna say about it? I'm ready. That's the pack for today. I'm pack list. <laughs> All right, we'll get started and have a good time. Hope you guys enjoy this. I love you. If anyone finds this, I'm just kidding. Hey, you just gotta be faster than the other person, right? I'm faster than you. Where's Mary? Where's the fuck is that? I don't know what the story is on that, but they're all over the trail. We saw that when we were off roading too. I think it's really cool. I think it's supposed to bring like good luck. Something like that. So this is Ted's Bridge, I think, going over Junction Creek. I think we're at mile marker 18.9 if you're going in reverse. But this is Junction Creek right here. We're still kind of in the dense woods. I'm really looking forward to when we get out so we can have some good views. Hopefully we'll be, be able to see some stuff. It's no shit, there we were. Look at that. So at this point we are at 17.4, Judy's Rest, Overlook, and Bench, coming from the backside end of the trail. Just incredible. It's one of those things where pictures will never do the spot justice. There you guys go. If you start at the end, just 21.5 and go backwards to 17.4. This is where that'll take you. We're gonna for sure go to 16.9, the campsite, because that's where we're planning on camping out. We're gonna check it out. It's about 0.5 more miles. And then for reference, that's what the trail looks like. 17.4 mile marker. And I'm using this data book right here. I think we just passed a little campsite that we were actually going to hopefully stay at tonight. And I'm really glad that we're not going to stay there because it is... It's a shithole. We're about to go right good. back down and yeah. show you. I think we just went a little bit past it. We're going to head back down to it, take a little break there, take a snack, and uh, try not to get by, hit by bikers and we'll show you what it looks like. They're crazy. Alright, so we've gone back a little bit. I think we're back at, let me see, 16.9. That's where I think we are. Well, we, we wouldn't know if we would have gone all the way to 14.6, but basically we were going to camp out here at 16.9, and I think this is it. It says, possible spring water from pipe with small campsites nearby, though this area often severs impacts with cows, last allowable campsite before the Colorado Trail ends. Now, it smells like cows. That's the water. And I guess this is where you could camp, right next to this water. There's a little metal pipe right there, covered up. So I'm thinking 
that this is the campsite. I would probably set up camp right there if I had to pick a place. But you're pretty much out here. So what do you think if we'd hiked six miles and come up to this, Shay? I would have been pissed. Not this quite is... the... No. Scenery you'd expect? No. Okay, so the next campsite from here would have been at 11.5, way over here. So if we'd carried all our stuff here and this had sucked real bad, then we would have had to go from 16.9 to 11.5 today. And hopefully that would have been a better campsite, but we would have made it, we would have had to, we would have had to stay there anyways. We would have been committed. With all of our gear, that didn't really work out well. I'm really glad we planned it out this way, and we did it the way we did. We're gonna head back down. Quick stop back at Judy's Point. A little uh, turkey sandwich break, some snack break. We're gonna eat some, uh, probably some crackers, some peanut butter. But um, check out our view. Not too shabby for a little lunch break, if you ask me. No. I don't know if you can see them. Right there. She just fed him with pistachio. He's eating it. He is one happy chipmunk. He's gone. What's the problem, Shay? <laughs> this bee. <laughs> He keeps following me and he keeps touching me. He's not seeing me, obviously, because he's still alive, but he keeps touching me. He likes how sweet I smell. She, she was running down the trail. <laughs> running away from this bee. I just didn't like, he was literally circling me. Oh no, he's back. He's back. <laughs> oh my God. I'm going. Oh, come here. Let me tease. Come here, let me tease. He's gonna, he's just following you. He's on your butt. No, he's not. <laughs> Stop, I will, let go of me. So I can, I can help you. Stop, look, stop, just stop. No, you're just Don't. filming me, you asshole. There, look. Did I get him? No, he was, he's on the ground, he's right there. He's right there. I got him. Okay. That motherfucker. We won't get this, we won't put that part. He's still alive. For anyone who thinks we took care of the bee, we did not, we were just kind of moving, we were trying to swat him away. But he is, uh, he's alive and well, he's just gone. Back at the water. A lot fresher than that last water source we found. A lot lower elevation too. This walk back was so much easier, obviously. For reference, I think that's where we had lunch to overlook. You have to zigzag all the way up here to get up there and everything. It was a lot of fun. Well worth it. Beautiful. Take my way. We're back. Back at the same point. It is approximately, how many hours later? 8.30 to 12.15. Basically, so at like four and a half hours. four hours. About four and a half, four hours later. What do you think? I'm glad we came back. I'm disappointed that the campsite wasn't an actual campsite. It was just a muddy, dirty cesspool water hole. Yeah, I mean, it was what it was. If we'd been on the trail for days when we came across it, it would have been like sweet relief, but for what we were looking for, we would have had to keep going another five miles, at least to the next campsite um, with our packs and stuff. So having never been on the trail, having done what we've done, I'm really glad we did it the way we did because I would have been bummed if we'd done it any other way and got stuck in some situation. Plus, it's it looks like, rain. you can see it looks like it's about to rain up there. Maybe you can't. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so it's about to rain up in the mountains, so we would have been stuck up there in that too. So I had a lot of fun. It was good stuff. I'm ready to go eat some, uh, or drink. I'm so thirsty some for some, punch. yeah, I'm ready for something cold now. We can go rinse off in the water a bit, clean out some rocks we found, and uh, head back to camp. Fun little day. Now we gotta figure out what to do because we were supposed to be camping out there tonight. So. We might go into Durango and see what, it's a small, it's a small little cute town. So maybe we'll yeah, go It's not see far, we'll figure it out. All right, real quick. Say that again, what did we do? About four hours. Four hours, we did seven miles, and we took just under 18,000 steps. Not a bad little morning. <laughs>